Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to change your Bioshock 2 multiplayer controller sensitivity settings. The first thing we're going to do is come down here to File Explorer. We're going to head over to the Windows SSD C drive. We're going to click on that. We're going to come down here to the Users folder. We're going to click on that. Then you're going to click on your Username folder. And then we're going to go click on the App Data folder then the roaming folder. If you don't happen to see the roaming folder here, the way to quickly access it is to hold down the Windows key and press R and it'll bring you to this window right here, which is the run prompt. And you will see a blank bar here. There will be no characters or anything information here. So you're going to want to access the roaming folder from here. You're going to want to type in exactly what you see here percentage sign, app data, percentage sign, all one word, all lowercase, and you're going to click OK. It's going to bring you to the roaming folder, which if I click the roaming folder here, it'll bring me to the exact same screen. So we're going to exit this. Now we're going to come to the Bioshock 2 Steam folder. We're going to click on that, then we're going to head all the way down to this file right here. The user underscore with like, what is 15 numbers here. We're going to click on this, and then this is the setting we're looking for, sensitivity. Now this by default will be 3, but if you've modified it in any way in the actual game itself, it'll be whatever number you modified it to, which would be any number from 1 to 9, because it cannot exceed the number 9 in-game. So with this setting right here, you have the ability to make it go way higher than 9. You can make it go to 100 sensitivity right here, which would be crazy in game, but it's possible. I recommend 50 because it's the best of both worlds, not too fast, not too slow. And once you type this in, you're going this number in, you're going to come up here to file, you're going to click save, and then once you've saved it, you're going to exit out. Now, the next thing you're going to do is right click this file, the user file. You're going to click on properties and then you're going to check this box, the read only box. Then you're going to press apply, then OK. This will save your settings permanently within the game itself. So every time you sign out of Steam and sign back in, your settings will be saved indefinitely until you change them again. And to modify, let's say you set your sensitivity settings to one thing, but you want to change them at a later date. In that case, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on right click on the user file again. You're going to go to properties. You're going to uncheck this. You're going to click apply, then OK. Then it'll allow you to go back in here and adjust it again. But every time you want to adjust this sensitivity number, you're going to want to right click, properties, check or uncheck, depending on what you want to do, and then click apply, then OK. And that's it. That's how you adjust your sensitivity settings in Bioshock 2 multiplayer on controller. Thanks for watching.